Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I'm about to make a simple lunch. We're gonna be using some zucchini, avocado, mushrooms, some tomatoes, eggs, and coconut oil to make a delicious meal. It'll be meatless and 100% on plan as a THMS. So comment hashtag spring. Let's do hot hashtag spring. I think today's the first day of spring. If not, it's close enough. Hope y'all are having a good day. Who do we have so far? Hey Vicki. How are y'all doing? Thanks for joining me. So I'm just gonna get first, very important thing. Hey, care girl. Um, we're gonna get some coconut oil so that we can saute our veggies. Oops, wrong eye. Whoopsie days. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Got all my other ingredients over here to the side. I'm just gonna let this melt a little bit. The base of this is going to be a zucchini. I'm just going to cut the end of it off and I'm going to let the coconut oil get melty in my pan. This is a single serve, okay? I get asked all the time, what's a serving? This is the whole thing, okay? <laughs> We're going to eat all of this. It's going to be so good. All right. So my base, my base vegetable, if you will, it's not really a thing. It kind of is a thing to me, but it's going to be a zucchini. I'm just going to get it spiralized. This little contraption was a gift from a client, Amy. Thank you, Amy in Arizona. It's a great way to have an on-plan pasta sub. So yummy, delicious, and I love to have my zucchini sauteed like this. Very, very good. Great way to get a good non-starchy in. This is a really big zucchini. This is all I'm going to do. I'm not going to finish it. I'm just going to sit it to the side and maybe have that for later. Just going to toss this around. One thing I did forget was to get my garlic. So I'm going to go grab that out of the refrigerator. And then we'll start adding in the other, the other veggies. So in my Blooms group, we are doing um, Monday's Meatless. It's our, their challenge for the month of March. And um, I really, really wanted this recipe. This is a, a spinoff of Rashida's avocado bacon pasta salad from Trim Healthy Future, but I like to make it hot. And I needed it to be meatless, so I decided my protein would be two eggs, which I'll fry in just a little bit. I just wanted to get this zucchini kind of sauteed. I just added a little bit of minced garlic, real easy. I'm going to open up my mushrooms and give them a little rinse. I'm just going to do a little handful of mushrooms, not too many. I'm also going to add some tomatoes. A lot of people, people get get nervous about using tomatoes in an S situation. Uh, this little few amount isn't going to hurt anything. Whoop! Lost mushroom. <laughs> so we are just going to get this to where the mushrooms and the tomatoes get a little soft. And I'm just going to move my veggies over to the side, okay? Guys, I've never made this before. I'm totally making it up as I go. <laughs> Never be afraid to do this. Never be afraid to try something new. All right, let's get our egg. Beautiful yard egg for my friend's chicken. So good. Beautiful yolk. Yolk. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> this is a kind of a smaller egg, so I may do a third one. That one is rather small. So I am doing three, but these are a little little small, this little go round here. Oh, they're so tiny and cute. Okay. Now, I like to mush up the yolk. Because kind of how I roll. I'm going to get up here right there. Let me put that to the side. There you go. I'm going to get some nutritional yeast on here. Y'all been listening to the Trim Healthy Mama podcast. Um, they've been talking a lot, a lot about MTHFR genetic mutation, which my family does have. 
We have um, known about that for a long time, and nutritional yeast from Trim Healthy Mama is a wonderful source of folate, which is something that you need if you have that mutation. Now, if all that sounded like a bunch of mumbo jumbo to you, just don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> but if you want to look into that um, information, you can go to the Trim Healthy Mama podcast and look it up. Okay? I'm trying to find a flipper for my eggs. Not quite ready for them to flip yet. I just like to fry my eggs up real easy. I'm going to get some tongs and toss this veggies around. It smells so good, y'all. So easy, so quick. Should be a good little any meal. Be a good breakfast, lunch, or supper. It's going to be my lunch today. All right, I think these eggs are ready to flip. Got my plate. Okay. Go ahead and put my veggies on the bottom. I'm gonna spread out the zucchini there. So good, y'all. Oh my golly. And that garlic, I don't know, it just makes it extra special. <laughs> it just really does. So good. If you want to chop up the mushrooms so they're a little smaller, you could. No rules to this, man. You do you, boo. You make this. You want to use a different kind. If you want to do squash, if you want to do collie rice, um, mushrooms aren't your jam. Okay, fine. Don't use mushrooms. Use any non-starchy veggie that toots your horn. I'm going to flip the egg over. It wasn't quite done right there on that spot. Now, before I get my egg out, I really wanted avocado on this, but... All my avocados have been eaten up. So this is a holy guacamole classic little contain little container of um, guac, and I'm just gonna put it on the top of my eggs just to kind of heat it a little bit. Oh my goodness, so good! And this is a good little fat source in addition to the egg and the coconut oil. So friends, this is dairy free, meat free. Sugar free, 100% on plan, gluten free. <laughs> and it's gonna be so good. So good. Doesn't it look so yummy? Oh my gosh. I would much prefer to have avocado, but since I don't have it, this is a really good alternative. So I'm not gonna cry over about it. Hey guys, that fast, like minutes. Give me lunch. Doesn't look good? How are y'all doing? I'm gonna move my camera over since I'm done cooking and see if y'all have any questions and then I'm gonna scooch on off of here. Hope this was helpful. Let's see. Hello! Michelle, you were listening to my podcast. Thanks! Thanks so much for listening. Cynthia has a spiralizer. Yay. Vicki says, oh, it won't expand. She's doing good. Just made chocolate pudding with a handful of spinach and singing canary with a quarter teaspoon of ginger. Girl, you're on it, Vicki. I'd sprinkle some everything spice. Oh, yeah, that would be good. That's not my jam. Um, I'm a nutritional yeast girl, but that sounds great. That's what I want you guys to do, is to do what makes what, what tastes good to you. Yeah, so good. Okay, there we go. Look, cheese, yum, yum, yum. Hope you all have an amazing day. Thanks so much for watching. I want to give a shout out, okay, to my Zoom class that's going to be tonight. We're going to go live in my kitchen and talk about some of the top things to prep for your THM journey, okay? So we're talking dry mixes, um, any other little things we can put in containers just to prepare, things we can put in the freezer, things we can get in the fridge, um, meal prep, some ideas for that. So a lot of things for that. You can join me live 7.30 tonight in my Zoom class. They're $10 for the Zoom class. Or you can purchase the replay, which is totally fine. Um, and it's $10 as well. So, and um, what's fun, though, about a Zoom class is when I'm done with my chat, 
I open up the floor and you can ask any question that you want, THM related, and I'll answer it. It can be on topic or not. It can be just anything THM related and I can help you work through any problems you might be having. So that's kind of a beauty of that, those Zoom classes. So I hope y'all will enjoy that and sign up if you want to. I'll put the link for you guys. It's just on my website for that. And I just hope y'all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all make a good, a good lunch like this and I will see y'all later. Bye y'all.